What's up guys? How's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys top 15 iOS 15.4 jailbreak tweaks that are dopamine compatible. All of the tweaks discussed in today's video will be down below in the description. Also, stick around to the end to see a bonus tweak that is by far my favorite tweak in the last several years. Alright guys, let's get started. Reach Player places a now playing interface at the top of your reachability view. There's a forwards and backwards control and also play and pause as you would expect. The reachability view is normally completely blank, so adding something to it looks pretty cool. This tweak will automatically toggle the lock screen or unlock your device once a song has finished playing. This previously paid tweak has now been made free and this is a really awesome notification tweak. You can change so much to the border of the notifications, to corner radiuses, and making it more square or more rounded. And there's just a bunch of customization options for your notification view, and this is a really good looking tweak. Better Alarm takes your system-wide alarms to the next level. This tweak was also previously paid, but the developer has made it free. You can see the alarm view already looks completely different than stock iOS. It looks pretty cool. And there's options to add obstacles towards snoozing or stopping your alarm. You can solve math problems, and unless you do that, you're not going to be able to snooze the alarm. So it's a pretty interesting tweak. Okay, this is just one of these awesome tweaks that you have to see to understand. This is called Mr. Beastify, and it literally just places Mr. Beast in every thumbnail on your YouTube app. It just looks hilarious and really, really funny and something that I feel like is a must install if you're somebody that is into YouTube, is into Mr. Beast videos, I think you'll get a kick out of this one. I have to hand it to Mr. Beast, some of these thumbnails actually do look good. This tweak rounds your dock and I think the result looks really cool. You can change the color of it, but I like going with this blue and it makes the dock actually pop and look really cool. For those that are trying to keep their jailbreak, well, this tweak is pretty straightforward. This tweak completely gets rid of the software update tab inside of settings and allows you to keep your jailbreak. It also gets rid of the erase all content and settings option inside of settings. This tweak gives your applications animations while opening them. There are several to choose from and this is a pretty cool tweak. There was a tweak years ago called Snowverlay that made it snow on your device. This tweak does the same thing and it works on dopamine. It looks maybe slightly different, but it's still really cool. I know it's August, but if you're in a festive mood, you can go ahead and try this out. This tweak lets you haptic press on an application and add it to a folder on your home screen. I don't really use folders much, so I don't really have much to choose from, but if you had a bunch of folders, this would be a great way of organizing your apps. This tweak gets rid of the home bar, and in place of where the home bar was, just pushes your content down. This way you have more screen real estate and you can see more of your content. When in wiggle mode, this tweak customizes the X's to correspond to the color of your app icons. Such a subtle thing that you probably wouldn't even think about, but it looks really cool. This tweak gives you the option of selecting what you want your device to do. There's a bunch of different options. You can power your device off, reboot, user space reboot, LD restart, UI cache. There's a bunch of them. There's also a control center toggle as well. Long pressing on the toggle will do whatever you set it to do. So if you need to respring or enter safe mode quickly, this is a tweak for you. This tweak places shortcuts under your keyboard system wide. There's obviously, of course, a button for emojis. You also have a button for copying and pasting, moving the cursor over from the left to the right, as well as a bunch of other things. This tweak will automatically put your device on Do Not Disturb when playing music. When pausing music, Do Not Disturb automatically goes off as well. And, well, some of you might have guessed it, but the bonus tweak is Dynamic Stage. This tweak, while it isn't free and it is $3.99, is the most polished and the best jailbreak tweak in the last several years. This is split screen multitasking done right and it feels like it was pulled right from a future iOS update. If this tweak piques your interest, check out the full dedicated video I made about Dynamic Stage down below in the description and in the cards. Anyway guys, that's pretty much going to wrap up today's video. Thanks everyone so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you enjoyed, please make sure to hit that like button. 
Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell, so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.